Pilots wear capes by Toxic Rave. I think I'll try this one as well. I think this will be the last one. Oh, it's telling me where to bounce on it, I think. Okay, that only fires one direction despite the appearance. And here's my cape. Okay, so I don't know what the coins are there for. Certainly not worth putting the effort in to get them. Bounce on that. Okay, so I gotta go through the, this. I'm assuming I can just enter any of these. Oh, and for some reason I expected it to take me to another area, so I wasn't trying to dodge anything there, but... Alright, so what's the deal with these lines? I don't think there is a deal with these lines. Oh wait, they're the blocks. Once I hit this, I land on this and... Alright, that's very interesting. Hit this switch. So far I've just been kind of getting through by the skin of my teeth here. I know that's not going to last forever. Man, that lined up very well. <laughs> I just kind of saw that it was going to work out. Alright, let's scroll the screen here. See if I can get these guys to come back. And they did, so now I jump in, and now I'm in and I can just keep going. Alright, so I want to hit this switch. Whoops, I hit it twice. This is actually quite scary, I don't want to get crushed. I'm actually not even sure if this is worth it. It almost really wasn't. And it's just for a one-up, too. <laughs> oh, alright. So I'm definitely not doing that one again. That was actually pretty nasty. Oh, this is a get-as-many-capes-as-you-want block, which is pretty nice. Looks like we have to hit that. So do I want these guys to start coming... I also want to be really high up. Looks like I've got some time. I think the idea is for me to go back and forth here. Okay, but I need the cape to make it through. This is actually still really dangerous. Okay, they despawned. That makes things a lot safer. Let's get myself another cape from the cape block. And now I just have to do this obstacle correctly. There we go. Whoa, that was close. It's actually harder to land on these platforms with the cave. You gotta actually time your jumps. I'm really hoping for a midpoint soon because this has been pretty tough. Oh, I'm supposed to ground pound. <laughs> I've had enough of that with the last level. <laughs> Weird janky ground pounce and other shenanigans like that. Now if I could actually get P-Speed when I'm intending to. There we go. Please, there it is. Thank goodness. I did not want to redo that again. I don't even know how I pulled off half of that stuff on my first try, so I didn't want to be doing a second try. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we want to use some cape physics again. Jump through here. Oh, and then I need to ground pound again. There's nothing preventing me from doing that, so... We definitely do not want to ground pound another time. Whoa! because, and I did not see that guy up there until I was already standing on the platform. I think the saws are there to convince me to go a little bit faster. But I wasn't paying attention last time. Oh, we want to do... Nope, not quite that. At least I can get my cape back. It's still not completely safe despite these cape things, which is saying something. At least this obstacle I can try as many times as I want. Wow, that is really weird. 
There we go. None of those kickers are around, right? Do I want it? Which way do I go through here? So I'm assuming I don't want to hit those? Because if I do, don't I just die? So I think I want to go this way. Dang it. This isn't going to work. I probably just want to go back. Because I need to go back to the previous cape block. I'm pretty sure it's deliberate given the theming of this level, but you fall exactly at the same speed as these platforms. So we just want to sit here for a while until those guys go by, and then that guy hits the switch. Uh, I guess I just want to continue on. Oh shoot, I missed it. I missed the dragon coin. I'm going to continue on for now, I think. Okay, so I needed the cape for this. Where can I get one from now? Okay, just right here. Nope, that wasn't quite right. I just want to wait for the next platform to come by and then go for that. It, it's just so tempting, but it doesn't work. Whatever, I had to go back for the dragon coin anyway. That's pretty cool. This is just kind of a trick. Are you paying attention to the entire screen? Okay, just go ahead. Slam. There we go. Whoops. Well, okay, there's another cape block right there, so it doesn't matter now. There's another dragon coin. This one's moving pretty fast. The other ones were all moving this fast too, weren't they? <laughs> Dang it. Well, okay, that actually makes it easier. <laughs> now I can just hold the button all I want. I'm assuming I want to hit these? Yeah, I kind of need to. Man, this is dizzying. I need to get out of here before I uh, kick the bucket somehow. I'll reset pipe. There's a guy in it, apparently, somehow. Yay, a 1-up mushroom. There's my midpoint. So I just need to get that last dragon coin. The last dragon coin should it be the safest, because if I just grab it, I don't need to save it. It just saves itself. So, how does this work? Not like that, apparently. Looks like I want to just reset. need to actually have some momentum going through here. And I almost just ran off the edge. That would have been bad. We need to use our gliding powers here. Or maybe not. I don't know. Whoops. Crud. I'm gonna need that, I'm sure. Huh? There was no enemy here. Well, it doesn't matter, because I don't have my cape anyway, but... I did that again. Oh, I need to get a shell from somewhere else. Alright, I have to maintain momentum here. Or I have to get momentum in the first place. Alright, got your shell. Now I can throw it. Oh, I gotta wait till the second time. And if I take it back through this pipe, the Koopa's gonna kill it. Yeah, that's what this guy's there for. Well, now I'm dead. <laughs> Dang it. I thought I was flying the other way. Rats, he put it back to how it was before.
good. Now I have the shell. Now let's see if I can just get through without my cape. I mean, with my cape. Well, I got through without my cape, so I, I, I accomplished my goal, guys. <laughs> There's the last dragon coin. Dang it, I was so close. But at least I got the dragon coin, so I don't have to do that again. Oh, I get it now. I'm supposed to bounce that shell up again. I don't need to keep pace with the platform anymore at that point. I can do this without the cape as long as I get the timing right. Oh, apparently that doesn't work. I would have to land on the platform and go to the dragon coin spot before going back. It would still be a lot easier to do with the cape though. Still, the start of the level is right here by this obstacle, so there's no point in resetting. I'm pretty sure I just cheesed that. I'm pretty sure that's not what's supposed to happen. Man, it's still not over, too. I thought it would be over after that, but apparently not. Oh, for a second I thought it was ratchet scrolling. I was like, I'm dead. Oh, I still need... I still do need my cape here, for sure. Oh, there's a cape. Alright, let's grab the cape. And apparently this is a moon puzzle down here, probably. Apparently I need to bring a shell down here. Alright, let's see if I can do that. Well, that didn't work. I need to create a platform that's large enough and I did not do it like that. Either that or I need to do the transfer when I'm part way through. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. It feels like I should be getting momentum like this, but I'm not quite doing it. There we go. Oh, I guess I needed to bring a shell through the previous section. Well, whatever. Course clear! Man, that was a really tough one with some really cool cape platforming. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. <laughs> and, oh boy! Now I am a true pilot. Well, this brings me here, apparently. I'm... Is this a bonus world or something? <laughs> okay, so... Getting... I can get back in the airship like that. So now I don't know where, where to go. <laughs> Should I keep going on the airship path or not? Anyways, I've definitely overseen my welcome so see you next time which is right now because that last video was too long to include the previous level selective water by snorum pyro i'm interested to see what this level is about i switched off with super mario brothers one mario because it just oh okay so i'm the only one who i mean the i don't get affected by the water but everything else does yeah i don't want to use super mario brothers one mario because i find he's Whoa. Hard to, like, tell where his hitboxes are, so... I'd prefer to use any of the other characters, really. Even if it's... Oh, okay, I've gotta wait for that guy. I get it now. Let's been jump up here. Hello, fishies. Looks like that guy fell off the screen, so we're good. Gotta jump fast there. Can I actually spin jump on this guy? Nope, I can't. So I've actually just got to go straight over him. Good to know. I thought I couldn't spin jump on the fish because I wasn't able to spin jump on the fish in the other level, but I wanted to make sure because it looked like it was uh, 
giving me a setup to spin jump on it. I'm pretty sure that's how you're actually supposed to get the dragon coin, but turns out a good jump can just do it anyway. Hello, Porky Puffer. This time I know that I'm just supposed to go back and forth and dodge you. Oops, that didn't work so well. He kind of moves with the camera a bit, so sometimes if you're going back and forth, it can be hard to track his movements where exactly he's going to go. The best way to knock those things down is to jump quickly and uh, as low as possible. Well, I guess I gotta wait for you guys now. Bigger jumps don't knock the platform down any more than smaller jumps do, but... They do take longer. Okay, gotta draw you over this way, then you just fall out and die. Ignore you, I guess. Okay, I gotta be careful here, because I gotta fall just far enough, and then I uh, go all the way to the... Oh wow, didn't expect it to fall there, but it did, so I can use this to get up, or not. Well, that's why the friendly dolphin is here. I hope I'm getting pretty close to the midpoint. Maybe this is a level without a midpoint. Alright, so it looks like this is going to make the spring fall extra slow so that I can jump on it. Whoops. Oh, that doesn't work very well. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I stand directly under it? Okay, that worked. I guess I could just do a spring jump off the right wall, too. <laughs> Honestly, that might have been easier just because I have a bit more practice doing that. Oh, you actually go back up. That makes things a bit nicer. There's my midpoint. Let's leave the mushroom there in case I get hit by these guys, but that didn't happen. Auto-scroll, huh? Okay, good. That water isn't selective. That dolphin almost really messed up my day, but... He didn't quite, so... Oh, easiest chuck gate in the world. See a fish? Just spin jump on these guys, no problem. Oh, well, you suck. Okay, he didn't throw a lot of hammers that were actually in my way. Hang. Gotta do a good job of stopping on those one-tile slippery gaps. See ya. Spin jump on you, jump up here. There's the last dragon coin. Nice, that worked out well. Now, just please make it to the end. No! <laughs> I'm so used to water being safety that I just didn't even think about waiting there. At least I have the dragon coins, don't need to worry about those. Got it that time. Oh. Dang it, I was not supposed to wait on that guy. I thought he would go back in time, but apparently not. There we go. Misreading obstacles right at the end of an auto-scroller is kind of the worst. I didn't see the Rip Van Fish on screen by the time that... I, I had to bounce on the urchin, which is why I wanted to uh, slow my momentum instead of just trying to YOLO jump it, but turns out that was the right thing to do. Penguin Spankin' by World Peace. Oh, there's resets in this level. I'm sure this is going to have a pretty crazy Penguin Spanking gimmick here. Okay, so what do I do with you? Okay, I can bounce off of you. I can run into you from the side, and then you kind of, like, look around for a bit. I'm not sure what that is trying to tell me. And you can send me flying if I'm just standing there. Oh. I guess that's trying to tell me there's a blue Koopa there? Or I guess that just that there's going to be a surprise. For maximum flight, don't press left or right after bumping into a penguin. Bumping into its bottom will also bounce you horizontally. So I want to jump up and just hold the button. Like that. And then these ones send me flying. Boink. That definitely feels uncomfortable, but it works. Okay. 
I suppose they'll take the training wheels off later, but for now there's lots of nice water there. Just slide into him and then jump for it. I'll, I'll lure you down the hole, see you later. Okay, now's where it gets a little bit more dangerous, but this is still easy at least. Up. Probably gonna grab onto another vine. There we go. Okay, so what's over here? Don't get hit by those guys. Bounce on you, bounce on you. Whoops. I was trying to bounce upwards, but I guess that doesn't work with the flying ones like it did with the stationary one at the start that I was messing around with earlier to figure out the physics like that. This guy's going all over the place. <laughs> he slides around like at a Kirby enemy. Okay, jump up here, go up here. Okay, we're good. Oh, this is actually a pipe you can enter. Whoops. That almost didn't work. Good enough. Made it to the midpoint. Now I expect is when the level will really begin. Boink. Oh, I was supposed to keep on going. So I was just supposed to push the button. Can I make that, though? I think I can actually just get P-Speed here and then... <laughs> Didn't quite do it anyways. I was so close. If I had just jumped a little bit closer to the edge, I could have made it. Alright, so nothing to the left here. Jump over him. Just gotta wait here. There we go. Down the pipe. I suppose these pipes are here to line up all the obstacles. Penguin shooter. Press L or R to shoot a penguin. To get the dragon coins, keep flower until the end. Press L and R to reset. Oh, cool. So just hold the button and then go down. But then I gotta jump. <laughs> cool. I like being able to have control. Oh, I have to shoot another penguin. Alright, we're gonna reset now. Get the flower back. Alright. Shoot a couple penguins, and now I'm down the pipe. Can't shoot the, the plants from here, so let's just knock myself over this way. See them all. You suck. <laughs> Whoa! I did not expect that one. <laughs> Surprise mole to the face! Thankfully it just went and solved that obstacle for me, so... It's not like it was really a big deal or anything. Uh, you can go down there, I suppose. Okay, not sure what I'm doing yet. Okay, we just gotta go back and forth. <laughs> not quite. I went just a little bit too far the other way. You gotta do like a medium height jump, which isn't always easy. Okay, so I had to keep my momentum just a little bit farther. Jump again, there we go. No, that was dumb. Alright, just gotta be a little bit more intelligent about how I do that. Another penguin shooter. Do I just have to have really good timing there? No, I've gotta grab a grab block. Plop, you're dead. Sorry, Mr. Penguin. You're the only one I have to kill, probably. <laughs> I gotta grab two here. Nice, that worked out well. I got myself a pop-up mushroom, too. And here's my dragon coins. I can burn a whole pile of those at once. Yay! R. Football game. Only L, R, and B are allowed in this stadium. Use the penguin shooter to control your speed. So yeah, well, up and down work too. You're a liar. You're a liar. Oh no, this is definitely scary. I'm just kind of YOLOing this. That didn't really work. I, I really have no idea how to do this at all yet. Okay, so I'll just keep moving. Okay, I definitely need to use the penguin shooter. 
I mean, I couldn't have expected anything less from World Peace in particular. I doubt he would be as sloppy as to just uh, let me get through without using the gimmick. That was close. Keep going. Wow, this is pretty hard. <laughs> and also really, really janky. <laughs> no, I had to shoot another one there. Dang it. That didn't work. I'm still farther than I made it before. Touch down. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, I'm not really all that great with the football ling lingo, so instead of just thinking, oh, I reached the goal, I was like, oh, I have to press the down button. <laughs> that wasn't quite supposed to be the thing I was supposed to infer from that. Rude Bridge. Is this by Pyro? No. <laughs> Mandu. For some reason, this really felt like a Pyro title. I don't know why. This this bridge has not said anything rude to me so far. I'm disappointed. Oh, do these tell me where I fall through? Oh, what? The cloud spawns enemies. Still don't know what the coins mean, if they mean anything. This is pretty easy to get. It just forces me to interact with the spinies a bit more instead of rushing ahead, which would be otherwise beneficial. Another very quick dragon coin. So I've already got two of them. Does that mean there's no midpoint in this level? Or does it just mean they're spaced weirdly? I don't know. Um, how do I get that exactly? Oh, I had to bounce it up. I'm dumb. I just hit all the blocks mechanically to check them like I normally do, and that didn't really work. I feel like I'm missing something. But maybe it's just a nice chill platforming level. Let's see you later. I probably shouldn't have gone there, but whatever. Oh hey, I get a midpoint where I expected to be. This level's pretty short. I've noticed the platforming levels in this game tend to be a lot shorter than the puzzle levels. I'm probably supposed to bounce on that, but I probably won't. <laughs> Good enough. That was easier to make with a normal jump, so I decided to do that rather than try and... Oh, I've got to go up there. No, that wasn't a very good strategy. <laughs> I probably should have thought of something else instead. Where am I supposed to land? Wow, I probably almost fell down the hole there. Just go through here. Let's start burning some things. Whoops. I was actually kind of hoping that they'd stop spawning <laughs> due to sprite limits, but apparently they decided not to do that. Now they'll start chasing me, but I could just go. A very nice level that stuck to its gimmick, but it's already over. I was actually not going to do another level, but that was so short that I think I might. Actually, no, there's a secret exit in this one. So I'm going to save it for next time. See you next time, for realsies this time.